I will start with our first panelist, Dr. Oh, sorry, Ambassador David Shen from George Washington University. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris. Just as the, uh, the rest of the world has experienced dramatic change over the last decade, so have the 54 countries uh, in Africa, some, uh, some obviously more than others. Uh, many of the speakers have talked about sub-Saharan Africa so far this morning. My remarks will focus on all of Africa, unless I note otherwise. It's a virtual certainty that the changes that have occurred around the world which have impacted Africa's partnerships will continue over the next decade. Uh, China, India, and until recently, Brazil have become major players in African countries and the economies of the countries. Uh, they have been joined, although at a more modest level, by relative newcomers such as the Gulf states, Turkey, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, and others. Now, collectively, these relatively new arrivals are challenging Africa's more traditional partners in Europe, North America, Japan, South Korea, and Australia. This pattern is likely to continue and even accelerate over the next decade, although internal developments in each of these countries will determine how significant their partnerships with African countries will become. Because of economic and political setbacks in Brazil, for example, we've already seen the leaders step back from their significantly increased outreach in Africa. The refocusing of China's economy from manufacturing to the service sectors is resulting in fewer commodity imports, which impacts negatively African exporters of natural resources. Turkey, because of its preoccupation with the situation in neighboring Syria, and increased opposition from the Kurdish minority could find itself pulling back from expanding ties with Africa in spite of Erdogan's recent visit, uh, visit to East Africa. If the price of oil remains low, the Gulf states may also conclude they have less interest in engaging in Africa. There will also be totally unanticipated developments in countries outside Africa that will impact both positively and negatively their interest in strengthening or relaxing ties with Africa. But while emerging nations will experience positive and negative factors that affect their relationships uh, with Africa, the same situation applies to Africa's traditional partners. 